Mastercam 2019 also includes a new multi-axis toolpath called Deburr. Now, as the on-screen prompt notes, Deburr is used to create a toolpath that breaks edges and removes burrs. Now, just because this is under the multi-axis toolpath section does not mean it has to be used on a multi-axis machine. Uh, this can output three axis or five axis G-code. So in this file, we're gonna go through two different examples, one using the three axis deburring method on the slots and edges, and then we'll use a multi-axis uh, toolpath to get all of these slots and edges in one toolpath. So to start with, I'll go into the deburr toolpath on the multi-axis gallery. We're immediately brought into the toolpath parameters page. For this toolpath, the only valid tool selections are either ball mill or a lollipop cutter. So I'm going to grab a quarter inch ball end mill. Defining the holder correctly will be useful in this toolpath since it can collision check against the holder. And next down is the cut parameters. So here's where we're going to define what it is we want to cut and how we want to go about making this deburr. To start off with, at the very top, we've got a part surface selection input. And when clicked on, we'll get back to the graphic screen. One thing to keep in mind here when you're selecting geometry or faces that need to be deburred is that this one face selected will not be enough to generate a deburring toolpath around the outer two edges. This toolpath is looking for two faces that meet and the intersection between those faces is creating the sharp edge and that's where it's seeing the toolpath to be made. So when selecting this, instead of selecting face by face to get everything I need for this top edge, I'm going to go into a solid uh, selection mode and just grab the entire model. From there, we've selected the part that we want to uh, deburr or the edges, or sorry, the faces that we want to deburr. Now we actually do the edge definitions, which we can leave this to being auto detect. Mashcam will find all the edges that it can given the faces that you've given it and uh, apply the toolpaths to it. Or you could come down and say user defined and I'll come in and manually click on the edges that I want to deburr. On the flip side, you could stick with auto detect and then come in and select on the edges that you don't want to cut. Uh, so what I'll do here, we'll leave this as is for now. We'll come back and make a change based on the results of this toolpath. Next up, we've got uh, a definition for the chamfer size or deburr size that we want to make, either a constant width or a constant depth, and then the size of that width or that depth. I'm going to stick with the default 20,000 constant width. There's also an advanced uh, setting here for the cut parameters, and that's where you can define the angle in which two spaces intersect uh, that can result in a sharp edge. So the default is 15 degrees, and I'll leave that as is for this example because I don't have any faces that intersect at anything other than 90 degrees. We can also define a minimum edge length to be deburred. So uh, if we're using a larger cutter like a quarter inch or a half inch, then perhaps we wouldn't want to deburr any edges that are shorter than uh, half of an inch or three-eighths of an inch or something small like that. Uh, again, in here I'm not... Uh, having any edges that uh, would fall into that category, so I'll leave that unchecked. So now we've defined where the edges are and how we want to cut the edges. Next up is defining uh, how the tool is allowed to move to get to those edges. So as I said, first up we're going to go with this three axis cutting. We've got options for four plus one, four axis, five axis simultaneous, or three plus two. So depending on the machining type that you select, you will be given more options to define how that motion is going to be carried out, but uh, for now we're just going to look at the three axis. Gouge checking, since we are sticking with this three axis toolpath, uh, we shouldn't have to worry too much about gouge checking, but let's just uh, put a value in here that we don't want to get any closer than half an inch to the holder, 25 thou away from the arbor, 10 thou away from the shaft, uh, and everything else should be fine. Leaking parameters, uh, we've, we've gone with uh, allowing Mastercam to do some auto detection up here in the uh, input geometry. So we'll do the same thing down here in the linking parameters, is allow Mastercam to generate some of this stuff on its own. Additional settings are the same as any other toolpaths. You can define planes, coolants, miscellaneous values, etc. 
Uh, we'll leave those at the defaults for now. So here's the resulting toolpath from those settings. We'll go into a quick little back plot here. We get a toolpath around the entire top face. It's also trying to do some of these side edges and uh, coming in doing the slot and then doing a little bit more of these uh, side edges here. So basically what it's doing with the toolpath is stopping because of the uh, gouge checking that we've told it between the shank of the tool being 10 thou, so it can't cut any deeper by going straight down. Most likely though, we would not want this to happen at all in the toolpath. Uh, from this setup here in a three axis deburring mode, we wouldn't want this tool coming down and hitting these sides. So as was mentioned on our cut parameters section here, we can click on edges to exclude and I am in solid uh, chaining method. I've only got solid geometry here. So I'm just gonna do an edge selection and select all four of those outer edges to get the tool path to stay away from those sides and rebuild again. And there's the resulting tool path. This time, just a profile around the slots and a profile around the outside. Having a look at this through Verify, you can see the very small deburr toolpath is cutting just enough to get rid of the sharp edge on those uh, faces. So that wraps up our look at the three axis motion of this toolpath. In the next video, we'll look at a five axis example.